Hey there, Jet Boosters. My name is RR Abroad, and I'm here to help you learn how you can add a favorite button through Jet Boost. First off, let's look at some of the items that we created on our Webflow project to get us ready for adding this favorite button. As you notice here, we're not really using the word favorite, we're using a like button, but it's pretty much the same concept, a favorite button or a like button. Now, first thing we added is actually in the CMS or the collection list itself. So if we go to our CMS section here and go to blog post, and we'll go to the gear icon here, notice how we added a field and it's actually a number field and we entitled it favorite. Now you actually don't need to add any data on the collection list items itself. JetBoost will actually use this field to record how many times you liked an item uh, for other purposes. But just have that there. You can just leave it alone, but just have a number field on your collection list on the settings. And then we go to the couple pages that we created. The first page is the blog post template. So this is actually the, the blog post itself. And we added a like button. Now notice we called it item is not favorite and we placed it inside a div block. That is very, very important. We had a div block and we inside it added a, uh, a link block um, actually over here. This is a favorite link. Doesn't have to be a link block, it could be uh, just a link that, um, uh, that shows that it is not favorite or this item has not been liked. We're actually gonna create two other link uh, links later or um, div blocks later, which is, that shows when an item is favorited or item is liked and also another box that's not really necessary but it's gonna be pretty useful called saving so at least if it's taking a while it has a box that shows that it's actually working okay we're gonna show that a little bit later on and also we have a blog categories page which is actually over here we are using the home page for that and we it's the same concept we added a like block or a like div block which also has a link block inside it or a, a, a text link a link inside it um and it is a, a item is not favorite list and we'll add another div block called item is favorited uh, which shows when it is liked and also a saving block so now that we've have everything built in webflow let's go ahead and go to the jet boost dashboard so we're gonna to go to JetBoost dashboard and we're gonna add a new booster. Now, keep in mind, our project, our account has already been connected inside JetBoost. We'll go ahead and click add booster. And then the booster we're gonna add is favorite CMS items. And let's go ahead and create this booster. We can name the booster over here and we'll just call it favorite button. And then let's go ahead and just follow the instructions. First off, which collection on your site do you want to add favoriting to? Well, the collection list we're going to add is the blog posts. Now, if at any time your collection list is not showing, what you can do is click this refresh button and so that it will kind of reconnect it and check any of your collection list and it should show up properly over here. If not, you can also press publish to make sure that it is working correctly. And then which field should store the total number of times that item has been favorited? That is the number field that we created called favorite. But the next question here is which membership platform is your site using? Currently, our project does not have a membership platform. That means that there is a uh, power up on the booster, which is a list of all your favorites. So we'll have a page. Um, which is a different tutorial, where you can have a list of all of the items, the CMS items that you actually favorited. And how it stands, because there is a membership platform, is that if the user ever resets their browser cache or clears their cookies, we'll actually go ahead and remove all of that, and the user is starting over, and they lose all of the items that they favorited. But if you have a membership platform, such as MemberSpace, or member stack or outsetta, then you can have a membership page that will save this information. But currently with this project, we do not have that. So now that we've went ahead and connected all these, we'll click continue. And there's our first check mark. We'll move on to step number three. Now it, it skipped step number two because this is the JetBoost script. We already have this script on our project settings. 
If you ever use JetBoost, it's always useful to have this step number two script on your project settings in the head code. And anytime you add a booster in JetBoost, it will just go ahead and use the script and you pretty much skip uh, step number two anytime, every time. Let's move on to favorite button. Now there are two types of our, there are, our favorite button can be inserted in two places. Now there's a collection template page, the collection list item. This is very important. You want to make sure that they are on the same booster. Okay. A lot of people sometimes kind of misinterpret this and think they need separate boosters, one for the template page and one for the list item itself. To define this, the collection template page is the blog post template, which is this right here. And then the collection list item is the blog category. So where you can select the blog to go into the blog template page. Some people sometimes think that you need two separate boosters for you to do this when actually you only need one. And actually it's important to make sure that you have one and it's the same class because what happens is if it's different classes, they will not be aligned together and it will actually have different information on both instead of the same, instead of them being aligned together. Okay. So we're going to start with the collection template page. Let's start with the blog post page, which is this one right here. We're going to go to the instructions. Now it says create a div for your favorite button. And then we'll add this class to that div block that has the favorite button contained inside it. And what that is, if you go to our blog template page, that is this one right here, this div block right here. Okay. That is the div block that has our favorite button contained inside it, which is this right here. So this div block, we're going to go ahead and add a class and that is a class that we just copied. We'll paste it and press enter. Now the next thing we're going to do is we create the favorite button that's already been created, but we're going to create two more buttons, which is this right here. The item is not favorite or the item is favorite and the saving favorite. Okay. Let's go ahead and create these two blocks. Let's go over here and it's really simple. We're just going to go ahead and copy this, paste it. And we're going to duplicate this class. And instead of item is not favorite, we're going to call it item is favorite. There you go. And just do a couple of changes. We're going to change this heart into a red heart. Instead of like, it's going to be light. And you can change this however you look, want it to look like. You want the box to be red and the heart and the text to be white. You want it to be black, whatever you want to do here. And then we'll add another box. Another div block. Actually, we'll copy this div block. And then this one, we're going to go ahead and duplicate the class. Don't just rename it, duplicate it. We're going to call this one saving favorite. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to delete this image and we're going to put instead of liked, we're going to put saving dot dot dot. This just shows if if you, someone presses the like button and it's kind of taking a while to show the other div block, which is where it says liked, at least it's showing that it is processing and make sure that it is in this exact order. You don't exactly have to name it this. Um, you can really name it whatever you want. I just like to name this better. This is what JetBoost recommends so that it's more organized and you're able to interpret the information correctly, but you can just go ahead and name it however you see fit, but make sure it is in this exact order. The block one, the block two, the block three. And then the next instructions is to hide the second and third child divs, which is the item is favorite and the saving favorite. So we'll go to item is favorite. We'll go ahead and press hide and the saving favorite will press hide. And then the next step is to test our page. But before we even test, the first thing we want to do is we want to publish. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click publish, publish to select the domain. And then we'll get this exact link of this exact page we're in. Now, in order for you to get this, you could actually just click this button right here and it should take you to that uh, URL, the exact URL of this exact page. Go ahead and click that. 
and go over here. I'll go to the JetBoost dashboard and go ahead and paste that here. Now we don't need the first part, but we do need that post slash 10 great examples of responsive websites. In order to ensure that we're on the right page, we can go ahead and click this button right here, which takes us to the correct page. And then now that we published it, we'll go test and continue and see if we did it correctly. And there you go. And now it says there are no issues detected. Please continue or we'll press continue. And congratulations, you just set up a favorite button for your website. So now our booster is ready to go. Let's go ahead and test this uh, website. So we'll go open staging site. And here is our site. We'll press like and notice how it showed the saving. And now this page has been liked. Now we're going to go back and show you how to implement this on our jet boost or on our blog categories page. Okay. And it's honestly almost the same exact concept. Let's go ahead and actually close this and we'll go back to our favorite button. Go back to number three. And then now we're going to do collection list item. And if we test and continue, you'll see that's actually not there. Okay. So right now it should be an error. Notice three issues found because we have not implemented these steps yet. The first thing we want to do first off is go back to that page. And this one, it is our home page, but it's usually a blog categories page. And the first thing we want to do is add this class on the blog post collection list wrapper. We'll go ahead and click that. And then we'll go to the wrapper itself, which is this right here. And then we'll go ahead and paste the class. There. Next step is we want to add an embed on the collection item. I want to copy this code, go back to JetBoost. I really could add it anywhere. What we're going to do is we're going to add it right here. Let's go ahead and add an HTML embed, or I think it's called embed. There you go. Let's add an embed and we'll paste this custom code. And we'll save and close. No need to hide it. It's going to be hidden. It's not going to show there. So that's fine as it is. We just want to make sure we add it inside the collection item. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a div for our favorite button, which we already did. If you notice here, we have a button wrapper. Then we have a div block which contains our item is not favorite. I added a list on the class name just so that it doesn't get mixed up with the other one. Okay. So in this div block, we're going to name it this create a div for the favorite button. We're going to copy this and then we're going to go ahead and name it inside the div block. Okay. Name the div block that class name. All right. And then now we follow the steps is we're pretty much going to do the same thing that we did on the template page. We're going to go ahead and copy this div block. The item is not favorite list. And we're just going to duplicate it, change it to item is favorite. Take out the word copy. And then we're going to make a quick change, change the image into the red heart and change the like to light. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this as well. We're going to duplicate the class, name it saving favorite list. And then we're just going to go ahead and remove the image. And then I'm having trouble clicking here, saving dot, dot, dot. As you can see here is pretty much the exact same thing that we did in the other one. And just like with the other one, we hid block, uh, div block two and three. Go do that here as well. Let's hide this div block and hide this div block. And then we'll go ahead and test it. Now the URL is actually, this is the correct URL because we are in the home page. We're going to leave that blank. And then we'll go ahead and publish. And if we did it correctly, we should click test and continue and have our green check mark. If we didn't do it correctly, then at least JetBoost will notify us, which is an awesome thing. Go ahead and click test and continue. And good to go. Let's go ahead and we did our final checks. 
it is now published. So let's go ahead and go to this page and see if it is now working. Now the first test is this. Notice how this one was already liked. Why is that? Because when we went to the template page itself, which I didn't link <laughs> in this project, let me do that real quick, actually. It should be pretty simple. We'll go to the button, make sure it goes to the current blog post, publish it real quick so that we can test this, okay? This is really, really cool. Because we're using the same class and the same booster, it allows you to do this. We'll refresh this. Notice how this one is automatically, where is that? Liked. Because if you remember, you click read more, you remember this was liked over here. Now notice, if I like this one, 15 best blogs to follow about logo design, we'll click read more. And notice that it's liked here as well. So now they are both aligned and you now have a favorite button on your collection list. That my friends is how you set up a favorite button using JetBoost.